welcome back everybody this is Jason Seacrest in this episode of just the tips we are going to be going through kind of an 8-bit look and or a pixelated look I was doing this on Friday and it was so easy I thought I would share it now in the just the tips we are going to be focusing on a smaller format where I can just go through one little thing in a very short amount of time about five minutes just to give you some of the tips and tricks and then we can go on there so if you have any ideas that you are struggling with definitely put that in the comments as we are building up this playlist so what we are going to do and why this is so easy is it is very much in the setup everything else is very much just tracing so I have my 8-bit I have a white layer and then I have just a green background so what we are gonna do first is it's very much just on the placing little graphic that I used last St. Patrick's Day from idea to creation it was less than 20 minutes and it was out in the world ready to be sold so it is very very quick so when we place it let's go through all of the setup the setup is all about under our view look now the first thing that you are gonna want to do I would just show rulers and that's just gonna give you this nice little thing up at the top next I'm gonna drop down and our goal is to show grid once we have that grid what we are really looking for is I'm trying to establish if I have one block does that actually line up so that's we might need to move things around I have already adjusted it just so you are aware and what I'm looking at is this handle you are gonna notice that that grid is pretty close so if I'm just doing a nice black square I will be able to just draw that out I'm gonna hold down shift and as long as that is our one little block we should be pretty much good to go so that's gonna be the base now what's gonna make our lives way easier I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna drop down to where it says snap to grid so as we are doing this what I'm looking for is that it actually snaps to each one of these little points so I know that hey everything is good to go that now what I will also recommend and this is all still in our just setup is under preferences if I come down guides and grid if I select on that I have a grid every one inch and I have knocked down the subdivisions down to two the default is eight just so everyone is aware so I knock that down I hit OK and then that is how we get pretty much for one inch we have four little boxes so that'll be a little bit chunkier so as you do that you might need to rearrange the image but look at how easy this is let's just zoom in so we can start cranking this out so you guys can see all I need to do is I'm holding down shift I take that back I'm holding down alt and I'm just dragging you're gonna notice it's automatically snapping into these boxes for me and it makes our lives super easy little diagonal and I just keep walking it around we could always align these later but this is where I was like this is gonna be something that you guys might want to share so if you guys want to crank this out I would highly recommend it now I how long was that that was not too long but you can kind of see how fast this goes duplicate it out now I would recommend zooming in just so you don't hit any of our round the corners so I'm just gonna go all the way around now I've already done that just to speed up this process so I've already gone through now at a certain point I might say hey I want to change this color up now if we were gonna make our lives really easy all I would do is select it up I don't want to fill everything I'm not crazy then we can just come back down to live paint notice that all of my black lines are basically done in pixelation form so I'm gonna go K I'm gonna come over to my dark green that is all done let's come over to our white 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 that was it look how easy that was so this entire process was all about that setup so the couple different little tidbits as we are taking away from episode number one under preferences under guides that is where that subdivision drop down the two is gonna happen that is gonna be a big big help number two under view this snap to grid is going to be your life saver so that's the one that it almost clicks in automatically for you and the determining factor as you set all of that up is as you are placing your object just establish how fat you want your one pixel to be and then you should go from there so if you want it to be bigger then you're going to get a little bit more of a 16 bit or a little bit more further along with the pixelation if you wanted it to be really really chunky then i would suggest having something a little bit smaller as you're going through so thanks for hanging out this is going to be just the tips 
If you have any recommendations or things that you want to be covering, I got some ideas already, but if you have anything that you are definitely struggling with, definitely put those in the comments. With the Just the Tips, I did to share a little bit more of the projects that don't hit the tutorial side, so I think this is going to be a little bit fun. So thanks for hanging out, and I will see you on the next episode.